Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use push notifications on your Shopify store. I'll teach you how to use them like a pro. We'll jump right into it. And why would you wanna use push notifications? The number one reason is that customers pay attention to them. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up inside of one of my Shopify stores. But the main idea here is that push notifications are a great way to get your customer's attention. And the open and engagement rates are higher than things like email marketing or SMS text message marketing. Again, because customers really pay attention to these. So a popular strategy is to use push notifications in your Shopify store and you could use them to help increase sales, right? You could promote a specific product. You could help them to reduce abandoned carts. You could increase engagement. There's really a lot of different ways that you can use push notifications in your store, but there are some pain points that you might run into when you're going ahead to set this up. First of all, there's no built-in way to do this with Shopify. You're gonna to need to use an app. I'm gonna show you the app that I use. And you wanna use an app that's super easy to use, requires no technological skill, right? You don't need to be a programmer or a developer to set everything up and get started. But really most importantly, the app must have full flexibility, not only for you to set things up and have the colors and the branding match so it fits perfectly into your store, but you also wanna have different uses for the push notifications, different setups and flows, like promoting products, abandoning carts, uh, really building engagement, win back, right? All these different things that you can do with push notifications. And really the best way to do it in the way that I'm gonna show you how to do it is using Rocket Push. And you see the link directly below this video, highly recommended, really easy to set up as well. We're gonna be able to send attention grabbing notifications to your website visitors. I'm gonna show you over here. You see the links directly below this video. We got rocketpush.io and you'll be able to see exactly what we're talking about over here, right? Sale 25% discount or you forgot checkout, right? Or being able to promote specific products in here. We could recover abandoned carts. We can convert visitors into buyers. We're gonna basically increase our conversion rate with this tool. And it's really cool because we'll be able to target customers when it matters. You know, these kind of pop-ups over here these notifications, they get pushed directly onto the user, so they're really uh, highly engaging and high converting. Gonna work on mobile devices as well, which is super important. You could even personalize notifications and you could do kind of retargeting in here as well. And I'm gonna show you, they have a great Shopify app over here, the Rocket Push Push Notifications app. And again, I'll walk you through exactly how we're gonna be able to set this up and get these push notifications in our store. Here's a little example of what we're gonna be able to see here. And uh, we can customize everything, of course, so it matches our brand. So you see the link directly below this video. All you need to do is press the install button over here. We're gonna go ahead step-by-step step, and set this up in one of my stores. But again, you got the link directly below this video. Go ahead into the Shopify app store and click install and get this going into your store. So we'll go ahead and push the install button. And this will bring us to the permissions page over here, basically just saying that our store is gonna connect to the Rocket Push Push Notifications app. We'll just go ahead and click install app really really easy to get this started and then it's going to start bringing us into the app and into the dashboard and now that you're in the rocket push push notifications app we'll go through our little onboarding here you'll select your language and just welcoming you into the app i'm going to show you really all that you need to do in terms of getting this started it's going to first ask for your logo so you go ahead and upload your logo over here so we got our logo in there we'll go into the next step this is just going to allow us to see our notifications so we'll come over here click allow and you see in Chrome, it's gonna go pop up over here. In either case, we just wanna click allow so we can accept notifications. Once we do that, we can then click close to come back over here. You'll see that you've allowed notifications again, mostly so we can be able to test things out and see how they're gonna look. So now we want to go ahead and look at the uh, app extension here. This is really all about turning it on inside of your theme in the theme editor. You have the app embed section. This is gonna be basically, again, just activating it. So we don't need to do or deal with any code or anything like that. So see, we're turning it on. It's toggled on, right? We can go on or off. And now we'll press save to make sure that those changes are, of course, saved onto our live site. Now that we have that in here, we can go skip. And now we're gonna be talking about your plan here. And the premium plan, really powerful. First of all, it's only $9 a month. You get 10,000 impressions. So you're gonna get all of the features that I'll be showing you in here, all the features that Rocket Push has. You're gonna be able to also send and schedule campaigns to unlimited subscribers. You have highly customizable notifications. This is the idea that you could schedule at any time. So you wanna run a two hour promo, you could set it for starting at 12, ending at two. If you wanna go live at midnight, you don't need to be there to actually sit there and turn things on. 
really, really worthwhile. You get phone support, you get an account manager, and that merely massive impressions limit. You see that we can change this as well. Pricing will change depending on your needs. Over here, 10,000 per month, or 10,000 impressions per month, only $9 over here. So really, really powerful. You can also use the free forever plan over here, but highly recommend jumping into one of these plans, depending on how many impressions you want, especially for the ability to have that send and schedule. So I'm starting my free trial over here of that premium plan. You see it's gonna give you a seven day free trial, then it's just gonna be $9 a month. You'll just simply approve this subscription and then you'll be able to get everything live up and running. You see that the trial will go and it tells you exactly when it's getting, gonna end. So you know exactly when you'll start billing and it's really easy to get this going. And I'll show you step-by-step step how to set it up. So with the plan selected, we're done with the onboarding here. And now we could actually go into the uh, dashboard and they're gonna walk you through kind of the different things, the different panels in here in terms of analytics and stuff like that. I'm gonna really show you the main things that, you're, that we're gonna wanna focus on, notifications being the main thing here, right? And now with that premium plan, we could create scheduled notifications, we could automate notification push events based on things like uh, specific events like card abandonment, right? That's a really easy one and one that every store can take advantage of. And abandoned carts, I'll show you kind of walk through this. There's different notifications, different settings, of course, coming over here, manage your plan and manage your store's logo and all the branding and stuff like that. You also have the, uh, the configurations over here. This is for actually uh, custom browser prompts, a little bit more of an advanced features inside of here. I'll walk you through again the plans we went through that. So we really want to go ahead and get started with a notification flow. So we come over here into notifications. And the real best part about Rocket Push is they always have great support. You see it pops up over here, accessible all the time. You can click right in here, chat directly with their team. But you see the different types of notifications that are now available. You see inactive. We're going to go ahead and activate them. So we can come over here and go over here. You'll see there's not going to be anything in here. So we'll go into new schedule for new notification. And we can literally go ahead and spot, uh, let's say we're doing something like uh, early Black Friday sale. And we could have it start at uh, 4.30. We'll go next. Very easy to set things up here. You see, it's all gonna be visual. And the real cool thing that I like about this, it shows what it's gonna look like on different platforms. So of course, a lot of your users are gonna be mobile. You see the Mac OS over here or Android. You see Windows 8, right? So it's gonna really depend on what platform they're in. You're gonna be able to see exactly how it looks on all the platforms. So you see it's the, what you see is what you get editor over here early Black Friday, actually I did a typo there, so we'll fix that, right? And you see as I change it, you see that it updates live and you'll see exactly how many characters show on different platforms. So you'll be able to customize this exactly as you need. There's a message over here, we're starting our Black Friday sale early, starts now. We could add an image over here. So you see I added a little Black Friday image there. We could put a target link, for example, we could put it to our homepage. We could put it to a specific page on our site. Really doesn't matter. We can go ahead and just copy and paste whatever uh, link we want here to be the direction link. So maybe you have a Black Friday page or maybe you have a special offers page or maybe you have a product that you want to really focus on. You put that link in right over here and then you simply enable this. This is going to go ahead. You see the call to action button check now. You could say something like save now, right? And you put in button one link and button two, you see over here, get the deal or you could see uh, top sellers, right? You can put whatever you want here and start customizing this. You'll see how it looks in terms of the different buttons and the different texts inside of the platform and inside, uh, or I should say inside per platform. You see, this is the example for Mac, for example, or Windows 10, Android, all right? So we have all that. We're gonna go over here, send test notification. This is gonna enable us to see what it's gonna look like. Here it is right over here. This is an example of what we're gonna be sending as soon as we save this. So this will go in my case for Windows, but obviously other people will see dependent if they're looking on their phone or something like that. Here's the uh, Android preview, right? So pretty similar, but they're all gonna get some type of notification and we're gonna save this now. And there's really nothing else that we need to do. It's gonna start turning on and you know, in this case, this is a demo store. So there weren't any people in my subscription list, but once we do get people in the list, they'll be able to get that automation sent out. So let's go back to Rocket Push. I'm going to show a couple more things that I think are really cool in terms of the notifications here. Right, we have our scheduled notification, abandoned cart notification. I think this is probably one that every single store can do. And I definitely think take advantage of having these subscriber automations and sending out promoted messages. 
But this is a really easy uh, kind of setup here to make some money, to get some revenue. And if you're on the free trial plan, let's say you pick the premium plan, you have seven day free trial, you could probably make that $9 or that $18 a month in one of these abandoned cart recovery sequences. And it's really easy. You see the triggers automatically added here. It says when a customer adds a product to cart, we'll go ahead and create a new reminder. And you see the exact same screen now. This is just the idea that we have the um, ability to edit each, uh, you know, this is each implementation, but have the ability now to edit it just like we did any other message. So you're going to start getting used to this kind of back end and dashboard. The only difference is in this case, we're doing an abandoned cart checkout here. So we're trying to recover that cart. See the call to action over here. It's going to send them back right into the cart page. We could add an image, some type of call to action in terms of, you know, check out the cart. And we'll be able to save this reminder. And just like that, we have abandoned cart recovery. Really easy. You see that there are different setups, again, per platform. But you saw the differences. They're very minimal. And you see them as you're creating that. So you can even create another layer over here. For example, we could have it uh, go in 15 minutes. Then we can come over here, add a reminder. And then we'll create another reminder over here. I'll just save this real quick without editing because I'll show you how you could start setting up the flow. So they abandon the cart, 15 minutes later, you send them this abandoned cart notification. Now we'll come over here, wait a day and send them another. And then we could even do it a third time, come over here and set another day and give them that reminder over here. So, and then don't forget, you wanna make sure that you activate it right up over here. Just put that toggle over. Over here in the configuration section, this is gonna be the subscriber prompt. And this is gonna be the dialogue that asks people for permission. So really important here, what we wanna do, and here's a preview of what it's gonna look like. Remember, we already gave it permission because we wanted to test things out. But for new customers or new visitors, they're gonna see this. And what we wanna do is come over and brand it. Right, you can have the button color, you can change the text, right? Something like subscribe or yes or allow, like they have there. Change the different colors, do whatever you want in terms of matching your branding. You have timing options in terms of how long it's gonna pop up in terms of after 10 seconds of viewing the site on mobile, let's say you want it to be uh, seven seconds on mobile and 12 seconds on desktop, you could do that. Really easy. They have max prompt count sessions, so only two times per session, so you don't annoy people if they don't uh, you know, answer the prompt here over here if they just ignore it. So really powerful, you just of course press save and all those changes are made. So really, really easy to use Rocket Push and also super powerful. So that was Rocket Push push notifications and you saw just how easy it is to get this going inside of your Shopify store. It's just that super easy Shopify app. Link is directly below this video and see the app on your screen again over here. Maximize your revenue, maximize the engagement of your store visitors. Really great app to have. Make sure you install this, follow that step by step and get this going into your store. You're really going to see a big difference with it. So again, highly recommended Rocket Push from the Shopify App Store. Take a look at the link directly below this video and I hope this helps you out.